it's me, your teacher Karen again, and I am here to talk to you about the sources of communicable diseases. What are the sources of communicable diseases? If you want to know more about this, please join me and let's do the activities that will teach you about the sources of diseases. Let's go! Last time, kids, you learned about communicable diseases. Today, we are going to learn about the sources of these communicable diseases. Let's take a look at the following. What do you say, kids? Very good. A dirty surrounding. Dirty surrounding is often a breeding ground for germs that cause diseases. Piles of mixed and covered trash and stagnant waters can be breeding sources of insects that can carry and transfer diseases. Dirty foods. Dirty foods can also be a source of a disease. What do you think will happen to us if we eat dirty foods? You are right. We can get sick. Dirty foods have germs in them that when we eat them, the germs can get into our body. Dirty air. Again, dirty air. Dirty air can also be a source of a disease. You smell smoke coming from vehicles, factories, and rotting trash carry disease causing germs. Insect, or even an animal, can also be carriers of a disease. How are diseases transferred? Well, Diseases can be transferred through direct contact with the infected person. This means that if a sick person handshake or hug or even sneeze or cough in front of another person, that sick person can transfer the disease. Indirect contact is another way of how diseases are transferred. This includes inhalation of dirty air. Germs can be carried into the air. When we breathe in dirty air, the germs can get into our body and make us sick. Touching contaminated objects. Germs can stay in surfaces of objects. If we touch these objects, the germs can be transferred to our hands. And when we don't wash our hands and we touch our face or the foods that we eat, the germs can get inside our body and they can make us sick. Eating dirty or contaminated foods is another way of how diseases are transferred. Animal bite, a scratch, or even a lick can also be a possible way to transfer diseases. Animals can be carriers of disease-causing germs. When they bite or scratch or even lick us, the germs can be transferred to us. Insect bites. Insects are usually called vectors of diseases. Examples of these insects are mosquitoes, fleas, and ticks. This kind of insects can usually transfer the disease through their bites. So what should we do kids to avoid transfer and spread of diseases? Very good. We should keep our body and our surroundings clean. We will be talking more about keeping our, our body clean on our next video. Don't forget to do the activity on page 12 of your science book. Have a nice day! 
I hope you've had fun doing your activities, kids. But please don't forget to take photos of the activities that you have answered and send it back to teacher. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.